Now, Mrs. Naugatuck, you are being childish hiding in the den. Bert simply wants to talk to you. Up the Irish. <laughs> oh, maybe I'd better go. Oh, now, come on, you two. Now, come on, sit down. Sit down, both of you. Come on, now. Now, I have an idea that can solve this problem for both of you. Nothing will solve it for me but a wedding. How about living together? That, too. <laughs> Live together? Oh, no, we can't. That's against my religion. Well, I'm against your religion, too. <laughs> Come on, Bert. Now, you two love each other. Until you find another job, you can at least enjoy each other's company. <laughs> no, that would be wrong. There'd be nothing wrong at all, Bert. You'd simply be roommates. Roommates? Sure, Bert. Even the Bible says it's okay. It does not. Yes, it does. In ancient Jerusalem, engaged couples used to live with each other for two or three years before they got married. How do you know that, Walter? I read it in Playboy. <laughs> well, what do you say, Bert? Well, if it's good enough for Playboy, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Wonderful, then it's all settled. I don't think you do stay up too late tonight. Listen, Nell, I still don't know how we can afford it, because if you move into my apartment, they'll raise the rent. Bert, that's my surprise. We're going to let you have the apartment over our garage. Oh, oh that's you, wonderful. Uh -huh. Oh, that apartment needs so much work. Do you realize how much it'll cost to fix up? Honey, don't worry. We're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's go up and leave these two lovebirds alone. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Bert. It looks like we're going to be roomies. Nell, I'm doing this on one condition. What's that? We live together like brother and sister. Brother and sister? Until we're legally married, no hanky-panky. Oh, brother. 